Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan, this is Auto Detour, and in today's video, some new parts arrived for Grandpa Truck. So if you're new to the channel, that's my 2003 Ford F-150 back there with a single 76 millimeter turbo on it. We're pushing about 10 PSI boost right now, and we've been waiting for a car part to show up, and it finally showed up. So we're gonna be opening that up today. But then the main point of today's video is going to be digging that Junkyard 5.4 block out of the back corner back there. We're gonna pull the crank out of it because I need to go drop that block off at the machine shop so we can get it pressure tested. We're gonna take the crank over, get that guy inspected. Hopefully when we do that, they'll let us take a look at that process. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Let's jump right into today's video. All right, so the package finally arrives from our friends over at JEGS. I'm gonna show you the front here because it's got my address on it. But uh, we're gonna get this guy opened up uh, so you guys can check that out. We're gonna see all of what came with it and see what we need to do to get that installed. Let's just get this guy opened up here. First we got our JEGS uh, coupon book. And here we have it. There it is. So if you don't know what this is, this is a line lock for the truck. A line lock basically allows you to lock the front wheels so you can do massive burnouts, mostly for drag racing, so you can warm up the rear tires. We may use it for that in the future, but in my case, we're going to use it mostly for just doing massive burnouts in grandpa truck here. So, but yeah, really excited that this finally came in the mail. Uh, I will put a link to that guy in the description down below. It is from Jags. I ordered it off Amazon. So definitely stay tuned for getting that guy installed on there. Uh, definitely going to be melting some rear tires once that guy's put on. Uh, so now let's head up to the front of the garage, pull that rusty 5.4 out of the corner, and get that crank pulled out. It's been a minute since we pulled this guy out of the corner, so we got a few things to get out of the way here first. If you missed the video on this guy, these are my crower connecting rods, they're billet. They are used, so when we go to the machine shop, we'll drop those off so they can inspect those, make sure those are good to go. And of course, we have our rusty, crusty Junkyard 5.4 that's going to get cleaned up, uh, machined out. We'll bore it over, uh, and then we'll figure out what pistons we're going to, what size pistons we're going to put in it after we figure out how much we have to clean it up. But let's get this guy out of the corner so we can pull the crank off the bottom. So we got this guy out here now. Uh, got to get it flipped over. I uh, also remember we have to remove the oil pump because we will not be reusing this oil pump. Uh, so we'll get that guy pulled off of there. This thing is not light, especially with the crank in there. So it's a bit of a bear to move around by myself. Uh, so we'll see how it goes flipping it over here. Hopefully I don't drop it on my foot or something. Holy cow, uh, getting too old for this. I can safely confirm that this is not an aluminum block. Whew. But here we are, we got the, got the crank side up now. So we're gonna take the, the main bearing caps off here. We'll pull the oil pump. Um, we'll put the main caps back in place so those can get inspected as well <sighs> holy cow I think that's the most workout I've had this whole quarantine
All right, so now I got all the main bolts out. Uh, I got five on this side, five on this side. Um, so I'm gonna be taking off this plate on the back here. It looks like it has the rear main seal on it. Taking off the oil pump on the front. Uh, and then I'm not really sure, being that I've never pulled an engine apart, I'm not really sure what these are. Uh, they kind of go in between the wall of the block and the main bearing caps. I'm not sure if you're supposed to twits, twist those or what, but I'll mess with those a little bit here in a second. Uh, but let's get the, the plate off the back and the oil pump off. We took out six 5 16 bolts there. Let's see if we can just pop this guy loose here. So here's the uh, machine surface that the rear main seal rides on. Now this is all super interesting because I've never taken one apart before. So here's one piece of the rear main seal. And here's the inside of the backing plate. You can see the rest of the seal in there. Some little piece right in here that kind of is wrapped around the crank that fits inside this notch on the main cap here. Uh, I'm not sure what that's for, but that's that's interesting that that rides on there. Okay, let's hop over to the other side and get the oil pump off. All right, so we got the oil pump off. Uh, this is the inward facing side. Pretty interesting how this piece in here uh, just kind of rests on the crankshaft. It's actually pretty pretty mobile in there, side to side, which is interesting. Uh, I'm assuming that's normal, <laughs> or maybe this thing's blown up. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so here's the out the outside. Uh, just slides right on and off of the crankshaft there. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty light. Now let's see if we can get these main caps off and pull the crank out. After some quick googling, I'm quickly finding out that I will I will very soon need a repair manual for one of these things <laughs> just so I can figure out what I'm doing. But in the meantime, uh, I used the old Google machine and figured out that these main cap bearings or these main bearing caps are what's called cross mounted. To remove these guys, we got to remove these bolts. Uh, out of the side here. So we'll go ahead and get those removed, pull the caps, get the crank out, and go to bed. It's late. Just like that. Whew, the main caps are out. That feels good. Now it's time to pull that crankshaft out of there. guys there it is the crank is out uh first crank i've ever pulled out of any engine so that's pretty exciting got all the main caps over here i was reading that you do not reuse any of the bolts so we'll be upgrading all the hardware uh, that was really interesting how these how these little plugs work uh pulling these bolts out of the side that's that was pretty cool 
it's pretty cool to see that and how that system works to stabilize those those main crank caps so that's pretty neat so i'm just going to get those main caps put back on with the bearings that way i kind of have everything going with me to the machine shop so these seem to be little bushings on the side here of the uh of the crank so i'll be sure to pull those out uh, I don't know if you saved those or not, but I'm assuming we'll be replacing all of this stuff. I hope you guys are excited. The new engine build is on its way. So from here, we're gonna bring the block down to the machine shop, get pressure tested, make sure it's good to go, make sure it's a good block to use. All this stuff's super interesting to me. I'm glad we got to tear into the engine a little bit. It gets me a little bit more excited about getting this thing built. I'm gonna be learning lots along the way, so I hope you guys stay tuned for it. So that's gonna do it for tonight's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, spending some time with me tonight. Let's get this thing built. We'll see how much power we can crank out of this 5.4 block uh, in Gramps. It'll be really, really fun. Uh, and over the summer, we're gonna see what the stock block can handle. Right now we're at 10 PSI. The transmission and motor seem to be holding up just fine. I'll crank up the boost here and there. I think we've already pushed the limits of what I thought the, the truck would handle to begin with. If this is super interesting to you guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night. I'll talk to you next time.